this video, I'm going to show you how I edit a film scan with uneven lighting. I've already opened my scan in Photoshop, and because it's a TIFF file format, it opened it up in the Camera Raw Editor. However, these are the same adjustments you can make in Lightroom to both a RAW file format and a JPEG. Or, if you're using Photoshop and you have a JPEG, you can actually go to Filter and Camera Raw Filter, and it'll open up this dialog box. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and start sharpening the image just so I can see the grain and have a good idea of what I'm working with. I'm going to zoom in here and make sure that this is right. Just a touch more and maybe a little on the detail on this one. Okay, so as you can see, I have this giant dark patch, but this spot is actually pretty good. So I think what I'm going to start with is a general overexposure. Sorry, not overexposure, just an exposure adjustment just to see where the detail is. So about two or three stops difference. And as you can see, I'm blowing out my highlights on the left hand side there. So I'm going to bring that down to maybe where I want it in the middle section. So maybe about here. And I'm going to go ahead and deal with those highlights by dragging down the highlight slider. And I can start working on the shadows by bringing up this slider, but it's going to start to change the tone of the image if I do too much in that area. So what I'm going to do to start dealing with this is I'm going to go to this gradient tool right here. And I'm going to bring up the exposure a little bit. I'm going to drag this out. And I'm going to start messing with the position of this start point. And just mess a little bit with the exposure here. So that's starting to look good in this section. I've still got this weird dark spot. And this side is starting to get just a little too bright. Or I need to even it up on this side as well. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab the adjustment brush and it's already at plus one so I'll just size this up a little bit and start messing around that's probably a little too much right there is good and then I think I'm gonna need a new one and bring the exposure down just a little bit over here just to even out the sky so at least if I want to adjust the sky it's all the same adjustment and I'm going to do a new gradient and bring that whole sky up this time see now it's it's pretty even there's a couple splotchy areas that I can deal with but now it's a pretty even sky so now I have a pretty even picture except that this side's a little darker and this side's a little too bright. So I think what I'm going to do is brighten up this side by dragging another one of those gradients out. And I think I'm going to do a new one with a lower one. And I'm going to drag it on this side. Now my photo is pretty darn even all across the board. So I can start kind of making the adjustments I want to make. I can bring the contrast up a little too much and bring it back down. Right there is looking pretty good. See I can mess with the shadows now and it will touch the whole thing rather than just those problem areas. And that's looking pretty good right there. I'm going to bring the white point up just a little bit. See it's starting to blow out these areas and that's a problem but I'll bring it up just a touch, maybe a little bit of clarity. I think my black point is good, but I might bring those hills in the background down a little bit. So I've got a problem area right here. So I'm going to just touch that out by minusing the highlights just a little bit. And this area is a little too bright still, so just kind of paint this in. But you know what? I want this to have a little more contrast because this is kind of the focal point is these like water wisps coming off the top of the wave. 
So what I'm going to do is bring the exposure up a little bit, maybe a little bit of contrast, some clarity. Dehaze is kind of fun, but it can be a little too much, but we'll try it. And I'm going to bring the size of my brush down using the brackets on the keyboard and zoom in using Command Plus. And I'm going to paint, see these right here, I'm just going to paint this detail in just like this. Gives it a nice curve to it and just accentuates the edge of the wave. And maybe drag that all the way through to here. Just kind of wisp it through. And we can kind of go back and see how that's looking. You can go ahead and press P, and that'll show you a preview of what you had before and what you have now. You can also hit this icon down here to show you the difference side by side. And there's a couple different variations of this that you can kind of go through, but I'm just going to try and get us back to our standard image here. Alrighty. So we're looking pretty good. I think I'm going to bring this hills down. A little bit of exposure, a little bit of black point, and just go ahead and paint in. Just add a little bit of drama, although that is starting to kind of be a weird little paint thing. So I'm going to hit the auto mask button. And what that's going to allow me to do is just to keep it within whatever the little X touches. That'll paint. And it'll try and work some magic as far as keeping it away from the edges. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that across and you know what this is looking just a little too dark so I'm gonna just take an eraser but what I'm gonna do is actually just touch the edge right here so that it feathers that effect just a little bit now that's pretty even alrighty so I think we're looking pretty good this is still a little dark so I'm going to go ahead and bring the exposure up a little bit. Make sure to turn that off so it's a nice feathered effect rather than a selective one. I'm going to bring my brush size up with the brackets again. Just like this. And just kind of adjust that. Like that. And maybe bring the shadows up a little bit so it's kind of an even gray. Because I don't mind this section down here being a little dark. In fact, if we wanted to make it a little more dramatic, we could do a new brush, exposure down, and we'll paint that section a little dark so it has this nice kind of like V shape of darkness, but then it goes back into the standard kind of thing right here. So we're looking pretty good here. I'm just going to go ahead and double click the hand so that we have the full image. And that's looking pretty good. So I think I'm going to go ahead and remove the dust spots and then we're going to call this image done. So I'm using the spot removal tool on heal mode just so it takes these out. You can actually turn the overlay off so it makes it a little quicker just because you don't have to deal with the little green points you just deal with what the problem is and those actually might be waves in the background but they're kind of bright and distracting so I'm gonna take the problem ones out whatever that is that's dust right there alrighty so we are looking pretty good, although now that I'm looking at this at full scale, 
there's a little bit of brightness on the ridge, which I think I can deal with by just feathering this off a little bit. And I'm going to go back, and I think I over-sharpened a bit because the grain is just starting to look really sharp. I'm going to kind of bring that down a little bit too. And I think we are good. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, thanks for watching.